right. Hello, everybody. And we're actually doing midweek magic today. I was trying to do it yesterday, but it was not ready. Um, it is alchemy precons or into the future, showing us what the future of alchemy is going to look like. They've given us five different decks to play around with. That's in the Belfry, Staying Alive, Dark Dealings, Dread Reckoning, and Eerie Encounter. Just going off of this, I'm gonna guess Eerie Encounter is probably pretty decent. Same thing with the Dread Reckoning. These two just have really good synergies. If you can do the Rakdos deck correctly, it's probably decent. Staying Alive is probably not good. Just seeing how it plays as a draft deck, I don't know that it'll do well as a standard deck. And Bats in the Belfry, I believe, is a little more focused on the life gain aspect instead of the bat aspect. It just has bats in the name. So all three of those, I think, are the three that we're going to try and play around with and see what we like and try and get our wins with them. The Dark Dealings and Staying Alive, they, they just don't feel like they're going to be there unless your opponent misses their curve and you hit your curve. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'll be surprised. You know, I might get taken out by uh, one of the decks that I'm not really wanting to play. So let's, let's just start with the left and move our way to the right. And play some games. I mean, seems like a pretty decent start, so we're going to keep. Gain life. A random creature card in your hand perpetually gets X plus X, where X is the life you gain. Wow. Alright, well, I'll start off here with Lost Teeth. When a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life. You gain a life. Awakening Hall just revive everything back. Once during each of your turns, you may put a permanent smell from among non-aura, non-creature permanent cards in your graveyard. If you do, it perpetually becomes a 2 on rat creature in addition to its other types. I may cast a permanent spell from among non-aura, non-creature. That is a lot of words, Alchemy, and why we generally don't like playing you. Alright, cool. Well. <clears throat> Bomb defeated. Stick twister. Um, um, we'll start off with the Enduring Innocence. Creatures you control have menace. Whenever one or more enchantment creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, exile a random creature card from that player's library. Create a token that's a copy of it. Wild. Alright, well. Whenever it attacks, conjure a card named Sanguine Bond into the top 15 cards of your library at random. 
You can cast it for free when it enters, draw a card. What is what is alchemy, man? Absolutely wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I set up my game plan and you quit. Let's. I'm gonna play it one more time. I don't feel like that was a game. I was just reading cards. We won on game four because I removed the opponent's creature and they didn't want to play magic anymore. Like. Just tap to find the starting player, which I'm not. But this seems okay. This seems okay. Okay, so if we do the Banisher now, we're just gonna hit their Manifest card. It was a land, so that's fine. And then this now perpetually gets the two plus two. Oh, that's silly. The top six, and we put a creature card with mana value three or less from one of them on the battlefield, then conjure a duplicate of that card onto the battlefield. The duplicate is a one, one. Oh, so you basically just get to do the the offspring mechanic. Got it. Both draw a card. All right, create a food. Enters one target creature gets minus X minus X, where X is the amount of life I gained. Let's create a food. We're just gonna swing out. And we're gonna creature enters or dies, exile another creature you control. If you do, conjure a duplicate of a random creature card with mana value X to the battlefield, where X is 2 plus the creature mana value. Wild. This is sorcery only, I gotta destroy something this turn. We're up to 2 there, that's not worth it. We just get rid of this.
Lord. Wild. Life gain and removal. Who would have figured it's good? Was a misplay. I could have given it two more power. Could have given it five more power. It's a shame these goats you gave me are going to be your downfall. Would you like to attack in? No, we're just gonna get another win? Okay, I mean, no, I didn't have fun, actually. That was kind of lame. Midweek magic. I'm fighting for the future the multiverse deserves. Alright. Let, let's try it, even though we just beat it. Mythics and a rare in my opening hand seems like cheating. Whenever Verdant Dread or another permanent you control named Verdant Dread enters Manifest Dread, conjure a card named Verdant Dread onto the battlefield. Okay. I should fabled just to make sure we can turn three shrieker. Mm, 
those creatures fight each other. Alright, well. Fear of teeth. Swing both. We're supposed to swing both. Killed my land. All right, gain the life, put the good, put the good. attacks. That's a lot of life gain. Now press dread, then each face down creature you control gains, cost turn less than face for face up. This creature. Oh, sweet.
fun, but it is definitely not the bats deck. Holy crap. We're just gonna die to a 1-1 flying lifelink that got pumped and there's nothing I can do about it. got a shot at this. We've got a chance. That's fine. We're not out of this yet. Oh, we're just doing it now. Get that out of here. That's fine. everything, okay. Even if we do the block, it kills us. Exacties. Well, we'll give this one one more go. It was it was going going pretty good <coughs> this is the part where he kills you yeah he definitely got me there's not a whole lot I could do about it all right well we get a start with a verdant dread and an analysis that should be okay as long as that doesn't get removed like the only bit of removal I get in my deck, so we want to keep those for sure. I should be able to swarm. Do this. Back 
can take that out. that that's unfortunate I'm supposed to just end the turn here, actually. Scavenger's fine. Scavenger, two, that's, that's not so fine, actually. One was okay. Two might be too many. Oh, you should have done that. Oh no, that was correct. Yeah. But you would have drawn cards the other way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pump something else. Scavengers. All right. Well, when you get the nuts for the ducks, they they seem to be good, huh? to gain a decent amount of life here. able to get the oculus going this is the uh, the Azorius enchantment deck and for sure when you get the right couple of cards Silly. Well, I guess I could have blocked with the paranormal analyst and actually gotten my uh, Oculus down, huh?
sweet. I was not expecting that. Discard one. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Manifest through the whole deck. you for exactness <laughs> uh, all right even all the life gain in the world doesn't stop me from going too wide let's uh, claim our prize be happy we don't have to play midweek magic anymore How many do I have? I get two. Alright. On to the drafting. Near draft. Let's get after it. Yes, I'm okay with purchasing this. Alchemy is wild. <laughs> draft today? <laughs> Is there even enough people? table 
Oh, we found those other two again. Great. Hey, we did it this time. Oh. This is crazy. Like, Gremlin Tamer, Midnight Mayhem, together in the same pack. But we have to take the tools. This, this, this rare is so good, and it doesn't put you in any color. It goes in every deck. The tools. It's the tools. This is such a good pack one pick one. Even if you're not in the Manifest or the Sacrifice deck, just being able to have a 2-2 Death Touch lifelink addition to any creature is so good. Your, your pack can't be that good. Are you just are you letting the auto draft to do it for you? Is that what's going on? I mean, I don't mind Zimone, but that's the second Gremlin Tamer. Like, two Gremlin Tamers already. I'm only picking Zimone because I have three or four collected, so this is my fourth Zimone. Otherwise, I, I might pick the Gremlin Tamer. Passing two Gremlin Tamers to the person to my left, they're gotta be wondering what I'm drafting. <laughs> gotta be wondering what I'm drafting. <laughs> I mean, here, the paranormal is really good if we do decide to manifest. I don't mind trying to pick up Altenac and sitting in that since we're already in these colors. We could just get Terramorphic now and hold on to it. I think we might take the paranormal here. The two drop allows us to get stuff back on Manifest. Makes the deck play a lot better in my experience. What is this? This is a Mythic I haven't gotten, but I may play lands from my graveyard. Might be huge with Zimone, especially if I can get a Terramorphic Expanse. I can start just feeding it and fail to find and keep making Primos. We might just take it just because it's a Mythic and I don't have any. A little bit of rare drafting mixed with trying to grind the rank, like set completion. We'll see. We'll see. Play lands from my graveyard. And if we manifest dread and throw a couple of things away that we really want, we could potentially get them back if we're getting enough mana ramp going. Might be a little bit more of a slow, dirtily game for us, but there's potential here. There's the Terramorphic I was talking about. Getting one of those down is good. There's not really anything else doing what we want it to be doing here. All right, getting past some more white cards. Another Terramorphic. We could grab a Branch Snapper. We could do some five color bomb stuff. We could still even try to do blue white nonsense and I just take the removal here it's the best card in the pack I think even though it's not in our colors currently um, this is in our colors and is one of the best removals in our colors so I think we're gonna get that over the Burrower here, just barely. 
but even with the start like I can cut these three cards and we can go into the the blue white well maybe not with the paranormal analyst there but blue white desecration this dissection tools not desecration tools dissection all right glimmer light here it's an okay pickup Very unfortunate. The player to our right is just slow picking. Um, keys would be mana fixing. I think we just take a snapper here. It's in our colors. It's an okay card. <clears throat> that should be the wheel. As we thought, nothing super crazy, but the chandelier, like one early, is really good if we end up doing too much manifesting dread. But vanish. I think we take the vanish here. There's a good chance that we'll be able to pick up a chandelier in another one. I mean, mana fixing, manifests. Uh, nothing for us, nothing for... No, we could do this with the Manifest Spread Potential Counterspell. That's alright. Peeper. I mean, it's a playable. Overlord of the Mistmores. Punished for just rare drafting off the start, huh? Ah, oh, that's so good. I mean, I could go Flytrap, though. Flytrap's pretty decent. No, it's, it's the Mistmores. It's got to be the Overlord, right? Like, that's such a good card. And then we can still splash for Zimone. Blue white enchantment reduction. Yeah, we're just gonna pivot into the blue white deck. Possibly splash for some mode. That's what we're gonna do. Well, I'm not gonna get anything for it because I passed it all in pack one to somebody else. Huh. Yeah. Maybe we just splash for the Overlord. Another walk in closet. Yeah, screw it. I'm just mythic drafting this one. We're, we're not going to build a good cohesive deck. We're just throwing a pile of cards together. And we're going to call it a day. Out of three mythics so far? Feels alright. Not great, but feels alright. If I'm gonna spend my gems, I might as well get the worth, huh? Uh, do we want a flesh burrower? Probably just the meat locker here. Really need to get some like centipedes or something. Eh, Glimmer burst is okay. Hello, how's it going? 
we are messing around. <laughs> I don't I don't think this is this bant pile is really gonna come together the way I want it to, but I've drafted three mythics. <laughs> and we're we're just in pack two, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, we kind of flew through midweek magic. We picked the best deck it felt like for our first deck and then played a couple of other dirtly decks just a little bit. Actually, we didn't even get to the third dirtly deck. We just played the second one. Got our three wins and called it good. The decks seem okay if you curve out. If you don't, you're you're losing to bats because it has removal. Like every other deck that I saw didn't really have that much removal in it, so... Of course, the one deck that does is just good. <laughs> All right, we really got to figure out which deck we're playing here. The play thing is okay. It could be fun if we manifest it. Otherwise, like, a Glimmer Burst is one of our better picks. Maybe the Demonic just to get it for set completion since I'm already just hammering out rares. Actually, how many creatures? We got seven creatures. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's my pick. As much as I want that rare. Maybe it'll wheel. Maybe it will wheel. Um, twin seems okay here. It does manifest dread. It doesn't do anything for the enchantment payouts, but your exposure is fun if you can manifest it. I don't know if I'm blue, white, splash, green, or blue, green, splash, white just yet, but it's still a little bit back and forth. Emergence, no, we're gonna take the rare land that mana fixes for both decks, that's funny. That's funny. Um, probably fear of falling here. Man, this is going to be a rough draft. I hope for like maybe one, maybe two wins. I don't know that we'll get there off the, uh, the rares alone, but we, we could. We've seen crazier happen. I, I had a, what I thought was a really bad Azorius deck, and we rode it all the way to a trophy. So uh, We could pick up some more removal here. I don't hate that. Or I could just rare complete another rare. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, that's fun but I already have all four of you you're just gems so we're going to take uh, we're going to take one chandelier I probably should take the ethereal armor here but I feel like we're going to cycle through the deck Oh, well, there's another chandelier, so yeah, I should have taken the armor. That's funny. All right, we want nothing here, so we're going to take the rare for completion. Man. Oh, it did wheel and take the rare for completion. <laughs> uh. 
How is there still a glassworks going around? Come on. Um... Another one? Alright, we'll take a second one, just in case. Oh man, this deck is so expensive. Do we have enough early game? <laughs> Sideboard. There's what? Two walk in closets, the dissection tools, the overlord. Zamone. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's five rares and mythics in the deck and three more in the sideboard. That might be worth some some of the gems that I spent. Alright, enable the screen, glimmer light. And honestly, this might get cut. The peeper's cool, the cheerleader's cool, breakdown's good. Twist might go. Three drops there. Twins. Yeah, yeah, mana expensive. There's so much top end here, it's not even funny. Moan. Hopefully we get to put you into play on four. The walk-in closets. We probably only need one. We do want to play it on three. Meat lockers on three, chandelier six, you're seven, you're six, you're a five, and Jim is on three. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. And we do have three lands that mana fix, and the moldering gem that mana fixes, and then the walk in closet will allow us to replay Terramorphic Expanse to keep fixing or to keep triggering Zamone. Um, so that's five, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17 lands, really 16 lands that we'll have on the battlefield. So we kinda want to try to stop at 11 basics. No. We just want to stop at 11 in general as far as lands, and hopefully we fail to find basics. Yeah, that's fine. So that's that's 17. We might fix the mana just a little bit, since what, you're white, you're green, so we can go... Six, six, six. Oh, it's six all the way across. That's that's really good balance. I'll take that arena. Six sources of each color. We've got double, double, double in each color. So we kind of want that. Zamone's going to do the thing. All right. Manifest. This can for search for a forest. This can search for an island. So the main color is supposed to be where we were, so yeah, we don't need the glimmer, unfortunately. And as far as what else we get rid of, you manifest, you might stay, come back. I think it's one of the chandeliers. All right. Well, there, here's the wild bant pile. It, it just worked out that way. You calm down. 
It's not even the sacrifice deck. So is there anything up here that I'm going to be sad that I don't have? No. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> Filling out set completion and trying to draft a 3-3 at the same time. Can we do it? <laughs> I mean, honestly, had I not been doing it, I would have two Gremlin Tamers and the White Overlord and probably a really ridiculous Blue White Azorius deck to just mess people up with. But that's not how I drafted, so that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> Planes. Starting with Bance Nice. That's blue, so we can analysis. It's the dog, they get me. That's fine, I'll trade with you. Oh, it's patchwork beastie. I was not expecting that. That is nice. That is nice. All right, well, what are we gonna get here? Another green? Forest. So now we've got four for the twins, five for the fear of falling, six for the branch snapper. And actually, I think we gotta go fear of falling, branch snapper, twins. Turn up to two permanents. I really looked at that side of that door. That's pretty good. All right, fear of falling. Plus three, six, three times. That was a very aggressive attack opponent. Yeah, most people aren't going to get that, but people who delve into your stuff afterwards are going to love that that little Easter egg is in there, I'm sure. Really? Two of them? Alright, deck. I know I've got a lot of lands going on, but this is a little much. Um, how about just one of you? No!
Ah, uh, that's so awful. Yeah, you do want to trade, don't you? That was an awful manifest attack. Yeah, yeah, you drafted synergy. No, I want to manifest that. What is going on? All right, an 810 Megalodon. <laughs> with vigilance. Play the play thing and hold the Megalodon flip. With all this mana, we might actually play that room that lets us play things out of our graveyard. doing the Zimone thing anytime soon anyway. That was the thing I was talking about. I've got four mana to Glimmer Burst with, or we could play the walk in closet, or we can leave up removal. Okay, okay, so no walk in just yet. That's gotta be later. But we do have lands in the graveyard to play. I messed up. I needed to Glimmer Burst there. Uh, Zamon costs three to flip. 
I could have flipped Zimone a long time ago, but her ability was so far gone because she only triggers on prime number of lands, and a land has to enter. So I need to play a land and have a prime number. Yeah, there we go. So we can do that now, and we can thin the deck out, but we're going to find Zimone quick. As a matter of fact, what do we got? We got three, four, five... We got ten mana? Hmm... Actually, I don't think I'm getting Zimone back. I think I'm going to get the Dissection Tools back. Yeah. And attack in with the flying death touch lifelink. Unlock. And then we want to play the tools. Exiled. Oh no, that goes to where I can play it. That's funny. Um, we'll re equip and we're gonna sacrifice. That to re equip there. Hold the rabbit back. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I can't even believe we just did that. This this is silly. And this shouldn't work. <laughs> Manifest value loops. Alright, let's go. <laughs> uh I put that closet in there for Zimone and we ended up using it to get back my tools. Oh, of course, no white mana until turn three. I think I got a mulligan that actually. This is a little more keepable. <laughs> we draw blue for Zimone even. That's amazing. Yeah, no, at the beginning of my end step, if a land entered the battlefield under my control this turn, and I control a prime number of lands. I guess we're gonna go get another white, huh? That's that's cool. I really like the art on this card, this, this skin, I guess. I don't know what else to call it on Arena. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, one more.
more and this pushes us into plat one. Oh, it's from a different, I was like, what is that? I don't remember seeing that in this set. No, that was from Murder at Karlov Manor. That was a few sets ago. I mean, if I get there, I get there. But if I don't, this is going to hurt. the island. Alright, do I manifest dread at the end of the turn? No, we're just going to right now exile that. <clears throat> Sorry. You're not letting you get one plus ones and things like that. Gone! You still get a manifest dread, but no bonuses. Uh, that's not good. It came out like two months ago. It was a little bit longer than two months ago. I know it feels like it was just two months ago with how fast everything moves, but. All right, stop it with the good cards while I mana screw. Can I draw a planes? Planes. That's a forest. That allowed us to manifest dread at least. Twins. There was my mana. Me out five, so we can go tools. We like that. I'm gonna say, don't you dare counter this. <laughs> There's my other planes that I'm asking for. Three, four. Man, by the time we get our other planes, we're just gonna hard cast him, huh? save the double blue for <clears throat> forest cycle and hold up another green okay let me play lands from my graveyard That is the play this turn.
we go about doing this? I want to swing. Interesting. Okay, and we're gonna glimmer light. Here. And we're gonna reattach this here. Sacrificing the land so that I can play it on my next turn and have the seven to cast the overlord. Right? Since this one is a tapped land, this one will be untapped and we'll be able to cast the overlord since we went and got the, the planes. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. This one would have done both. So I might have actually been better off going and getting blue. So I can cast the, the drowned diner meat locker. I got a feeling though, once they see Overlord with the tools, it'll be out. Especially with how much they're digging. Oh, uh, we drew a planes anyway? That's hilarious. Uh, no, cast, just cast. Oh my god, they have the counter spell. Damn it. It's alright, we get it back. Three, four, five, and two turns. Uh-oh. That is also uh-oh. Go ahead, manifest dread. How many more times can you do that? <laughs> Not many. What a goddamn turn. Let's go get another blue. And we're gonna trap in the screen this. We're gonna meat locker that. I'm going to make you deck yourself, opponent. <laughs> I think that's my out. the flying opponent. How many more manifests you got? That's not what you should have equipped it to. That was getting in anyway. It's a 5-4. I'm not blocking that. Why would you swing this way? I'll take the four extra damage this time. <laughs> you got a lot going on there, opponent. 
All right. So that's that's still tapped. That's five. We can't do anything about. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I need to be able to block three of these in order to survive. Definitely worth putting on something. Just because it gives me life. Three cards left, opponent. Bouncing the creature and just letting that fall off. Um, five, six. We block here, we block here. I block here. Well, it's five, six, seven that we take. Okay. You're gonna draw. Yeah! There we go. Just let them deck themselves. Rank up. You know what? I'm happy. That's my three wins with this deck. The three minimum wins to not lose any rank while we're playing. And we rare drafted this. Like, <laughs> I have so many cards that are unplayables because of how I drafted. We can draw a green, this would be amazing. One more time, Arena. I need to draw a green mana to make this amazing. Uh, I don't think you heard me. I would like to draw a green mana.
just go away. We we can't have you on the battlefield. No, we don't need to equip that. That's not that's not worth it. That's not worth it. So if we can get a green mana, Zamon on five still gets us the uh, the primo. Okay. Um. Honestly, I think it's better to just vanish from sight the rat here and surveil. Oh, I don't get to surveil because you're stupid. All right, whatever. Played around it, and that pirate class I'm would have done the trick too. Crypt. Okay. Get the chandelier. All right, we're, we're just missing a green mana. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Say I can't block. No blocks, menace. There's, there's not enough creatures there. Get back a rat. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, that's terrible, actually. Just terrible. Come on, opponent. Thanks. the rat. You got something better to play with your double swamps. Cool. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is. Finally, our, our first green mana of the whole, whole game. The turn we die. Can't block the menace. They have exactly four. I, I need them to attack in with both and allow me to block their 4-4 to gain 4 life. I don't think they're going to do that. I hope they wouldn't do that. Well, at least there's green mana this time. Oh, I 
guess I do just glimmer light this turn. Dread as much as I would like to not block some damage. Oh, that's that's a really good turn. Definitely behind, and having all of these lands this time is not really helping. We've gotten four non land cards. Usually, oh, five. Sorry, I missed the equipment there. Five non land cards. sucks is I can see the thing that costs three and bounces something in their hand. So my five drop is going to get bounced. Yeah, they're just going to tempo us to death. Got something for the fear of falling. Yeah, alright, cool. You win. <laughs> I'm not coming back from that. Alright, one more. One more so we don't fall out of plat one. Come on. it but we're gonna keep it <laughs> oh we're about to get thrashed
Alright, what else you got? Another Glimp Rock. Jeez. No. You got a really good synergistic cards opponent. I, however, did not, and I am drawing nothing but lands. Double blue, so we can cast the Zamone and the Peeper. Mega five five. Here we go. Cool. Tap down my five five. Swing in with everything. Block with Zamone. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's game. You win. <laughs> I can do math. You have three, three, threes, and I have two blockers. That's good game. All right. Well, we did the thing. We we three wins, three losses. It climbed us into platinum, and it didn't break us out. So puts us in a good position. Um. I might take a quick break real quick, and uh, we'll come back and do one more and see if we can't push our way into Diamond today. That'd be pretty cool.
All right, quick break. We are back. Actually doing way better than I thought we'd be doing. So we're, we're going to push and see if we can't make it into uh, Diamond. Hopefully I'm a little less distracted with the rares and mythics that we get handed as far as set completion goes, and I can actually draft a legitimate deck this time. All right, now this is the like you want to do reanimator and if you force reanimator sometimes it's good as long as you have a couple of good payoffs but this split up card has impressed me the last couple of times I played it and I'm pretty sure this is why we made it as far as we did with that Azorius pile to get to that trophy so we're gonna pick split up here Pack one, pick one, split up. Having Growing Dread and the Bookworm in the same pack is rough because you can get one or the other and the other one's probably not going to come back. And then the person next to you is going to be doing the same thing as you. So seeing the double like that, get ready to fight over your archetype. That's, that's what that feels like to me. <clears throat> okay. Not really a whole lot going on in here for us. As far as red-white goes, we've got either the Faced Gallery or the Shard Mage's Rescue. This will put us more blue-white. This will put us definitely into red-white. I don't mind Break Down the Door, but I don't know that I want to be the Survival deck, although Split Up with the Survival might be kind of fun. But this, this is definitely going to kind of determine where we start leaning. What do we want? I think we want the rescue. Let's just stay in white. And we'll, we'll see where we can go from there. And we get untimely malfunction, which is played out way better than it should sometimes, I feel like. There is a survivor card. But either Glimmer Burst or Glimmer Light is probably better. Cheerleader might even be a solid option, just given what we were we have already. We can still be either Boros or Azorius. We can kind of see what keeps getting passed to us. I think we might do that. Just just stay open for now. I mean, we're going to pick up an exercise for sure. That is Prima removal in white. Pyroclasm's fun. That's about it. We already have the rare land. Two loners in a row, huh? Eerie parting here. Blue is the best card in the pack, so we're going to take the Surveyor. Well, we got a really good white start. Back and forth between these two still. I might just take the white card. Let everybody else decide what they want to play, where we end up. We are 
are leaning blue white. So hopefully we can see some some signs of that and actually get some of the good uncommons for blue white. Yeah, get out to do some card. I don't really see anything else we want. We do need to start picking up some creatures though. A little bit of interaction, a couple of combat tricks, a board wipe, tap down and draw, but we've only got like two creatures. Yeah, Split Up is just really wild and versatile, and nobody really expects it, you know? It's hard to play around the board wipe. I know the Rooms deck has a board wipe too, and that one's gotten me a couple of times because it saves everything power two or less or something like that. It's like three and greater dies. Ugh, how are you going to taunt me like that? Really? I mean, that's the best card in the pack by far. Honestly, either one of those seems okay. We're going to take the blue card. Um, we don't really want any of that, so we'll take the uncommon for gems. Friendly ghost is playable. Footage, not so much. Consultation, stay hidden, stay silent, stay silent is a really good removal here. But again, we need to be looking for bodies. Hopefully this will wheel. That'll be my fourth one of those. Alright. Fear of abduction, pretty good. I actually like the grand entryway better. I think we're going to pick that up now. Don't want the Ley Line of Hope. I mean, we do for set completion, but not so much for our deck. You might actually be a really good one drop here. Although there is another Tunnel Surveyor. No, I want an early creature. I think we're going to try to be an aggressive deck. Because I'm not really hitting the, the right synergies for this deck just yet. ghost I might just take the land here for gems
now I've got two different sides of uh, this deck here. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? It's not good. Finally. Hey, it did wheel. All right, set complete. <laughs> <laughs> I want goat for the early game just to have something. Both of you are bad. You're cheaper. Get in the deck. Uh, we'll take a chandelier. Alright. If it fits in any duck, it fits in mine. Wow, another demonic console. Well, we are not doing that. Honestly, I kind of want just the early glimmer light here. Let's see which one of these comes back. There's no, there's nothing here. I'm gonna take the rare. Hey, <laughs> Overlord of the Mistmores. <laughs> I set completed you in the last one, but I will take you again. Yes, all right. And then the doll seems good. What else do we want here? A little land, excellent. Pick up another land. See what we get. This is this is maybe salvageable. Savior of the small actually might do us good. I really wish I could pick up Marvin here. Wouldn't have minded the meat locker here. Don't really want the surveil. We want the bounce. So yeah, we're going to take the survivor here. Uh, I guess it's, ooh, it's unable to scream. That's primo removal. That's so good. So we don't really have any of the eerie payoffs, but we still have a pretty, like, low to the ground aggressive into a top end deck. So 
I mean, we might be able to do something with this. of that. We want both of these. I think we want this one more. Uh, for the gems, because we don't want any of it. Might just take another goat here. Another tunnel. Uh, we might actually take the jump scare on this one. a weird deck going here but I'm feeling like there's some chance um, probably don't need to play two terramorphics we can make that our 17 lands you're more of a three drop you're hopefully more of a four drop and entryway we generally want to be playing you on two Okay. And here, a 4 4 flyer. That's expensive. You're really good. You're staying in. I might keep the chandelier just on the off chance, but I don't think we need to play the dagger law. I think those three is our like big beaters, is plenty. I'm gonna leave you guys for the mid game. How many creatures? We got 15 creatures. A friendly ghost, you might get cut. We'll come back to you. The twins and the savior are probably okay. So you're a maybe, you're a maybe. Oh no, Piranha Fly, come back. You're excellent in my deck. Turn one. We don't want to enter the Enigma. I definitely want that go back. We're gonna go the Shard Mage's Rescue. It gets one plus one and hex proof. Could probably cut one jump scare. Can I cut you two? And that's my deck. Three one drop creatures, three one drop interactions, couple two drop creatures, we spawn a couple of tokens, we've got an enchantment or an equipment to move around, and we're just buying time until this guy comes out and does his job, and the chandelier will help loop anything on the back end. It's not the worst strategy we've played. like I cut Zamone out of the last deck and get a redo. So close. Opponent goes first. Can we draw one of our one drops? And I 
I get a one drop? No. a little bit further. I think we glimmer right this turn. They won't really want to kill the 1-1 one, one, and that'll trigger the split skin doll to let me draw. Or maybe they will bounce the 1-1 one, one glimmer. Go goat. And then I can either exercise. Might be able to jump scare into it. Yeah, I'd rather jump scare into it. See, but with this, they can bounce it. If I stay hidden, stay silent it. That's not very good. Let's draw another card. It's an island. All right, that's a little better. I think I'm just gonna exercise and kill you. I'm gonna be back. can do about that is this decent. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna end that thing. We're just gonna do the thing. Let's get it going. You're not drawing another card. Not happening. Try again a different turn. Exile. Yeah, not a whole lot we could do about that. You got it. Up. 
My little rabbit just got you. Agro tempo. Let's go. <laughs> yes, please. On turn four, even. quite have a card I would like to discard yet. This is interesting. Now I've got a couple of turns where I can do. So that's fine. We're we're impending. Yeah. No attacks. What are you doing? Man, opponent is in diamond. They've been grinding. The worm. I was not ready for that. gonna be big here. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. That's stupid. I didn't realize you had delirium already. Trigger? Oh, we get a trigger. Um, 
was supposed to get this back. That seems pretty good. <laughs> I've got stuff for that. I'm not scared. get you back. Is this another one for us? This is looking like it. <laughs> uh, had I played the creature in hand, we would have lost. Hold up that protection spell for one mana. One, two, three. That thing's curving out easy. That's kind of unfortunate. We would, we would. <laughs> nice.
we're just we're gonna get controlled here he's got one but we can't attack in through and a, a grip full of cards I need to draw the the split up <laughs> And, you know, unless they don't have anything for fear of falling, then in that case we get in for a good amount of damage. Like that. One one on the one three. Oh, that's right. And we got two more turns of six flying damage, and hopefully that's game. Okay. If we just do that. Summit one, we'll jump scare here. the game do you have something for this opponent I don't think you do and you can't really block fear of falling yeah <laughs> your creature falls to the ground and mine punches you in the face That's three wins, no board wipe. It was a wild game. And just, we're staring at each other. Neither one of us can attack. And there's a two, three, four there. We can play it. Oh, they're aggro. Of course they're aggro. Why wouldn't they be aggro? No, I don't need my six drops. 
I need my cheap spells. Surveillance, that's not good. Trade away Norn, huh? Interesting. See, I'm I'm willing to trade away all of this. Gets me with the jump scare, that's fine. Oh, well, we've got to do the twins. this turn. Oh, I needed to do it before the damage was all. That was, that was an oops. That was a big fat oops. Gives it double strike. Huh. Oh, you win. You win. Come on. Let me keep at least one pip. Not katana, huh? Uh, that's going away. I mean, that's a little better, but not by much. Agro deck. <laughs> All right, 
on straw planes. Well, that's straw planes. You just have a tap or two. And the beads. Ooh, yeah, swinging. Cool. We need a planes. <laughs> Come on, arena. One planes. Now what, opponent? Now what? Oh, you think I won't? You think I won't? Two double white cards. That's awful. That's fine. Oh no! That was awful. I just needed another white mana. That's it. <laughs> we were in that. Come on, Arena, don't do this to me.
it's so bad. <laughs> I don't want to, but it is a three, four, five. If we can hit it, it's so good. Opponent, come on, man, pick a hand, a button. You go in, you keep in, you making a sandwich while I'm waiting for you. Like, what are you doing? Finally. Discards. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't think we can draw a discard after that. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Arena. I think it's fairy, but. Fairy butt, but and Godzilla lands. Okay, or John Avon yeah, and Godzilla. <laughs> All right, opponent, you do you. Yeah, I mulliganed. But we do get a hit into the five drop next turn, so we were hitting curve. It was a greedy keep for sure, but it's curving out. Got me. We had to put the chandelier back on the bottom. Yeah, you definitely want that back, don't you? That's pretty good. No way, we get to do both? All right, let's see what the doll gets us first. Acrobats, no, we want to... Guess we play the goat. <laughs> I'm not scared, you are.
And it's a good thing they blocked the go over there, because if they didn't, they would have died. I 100% would have flipped that face up and blocked our, uh, thrown away the cheerleader to give that goat plus three plus three. Do I get to keep a pit in platinum? Do I? I think I do. think you have for me opponent but it ain't it three that means I gotta keep a pip even if we lose one that'll put me in good position to try to get to diamond on the next one and if we can hit diamond that rank up will uh, save me on a couple of losses on the back end yeah that's, that's, a, that's a healthy curve I mean, they did put in a good effort, but not blocking the Overlord was kind of silly. Was kind of silly. thing that we can do against that and that is the goat I don't think that is the plan though it is unfortunate that that uh, patchwork beastie gets to tap for mana this turn so it's potentially a six drop right here Yeah, why why did you play it on oh no, that's the other alright. That is fine. Um we will do a trade, good sir. What do you have for one blue? Oh I guess you do have three mana up on, that is my bad. That is definitely my bad. Uh, but we can play a veteran here. Walk here and here. Alright, Dak. No more lands. Chandelier's not good for us. Have something to discard here. Actually, it's better to do the planes. Five, five, go. Well, 
Look at the work the goats are doing. Why didn't you shoot the survivor? <laughs> they begin to suck when they're not played on turn one. <laughs> no! That, that was a weak board wipe, but I needed to kill that thing gone. They're splashing for the Oculus. <laughs> that is not it. is no good. <laughs> Come on. I got one pip out of this. I'm happy. We, we are four and three if we lose here, so. A second bashful, ugh. It's so good. Card, it is just a glimmer light. surprised they don't have delirium yet just unlock the room just tap out unlock the room yeah that seems really good <laughs> oh man <laughs> what a way to lose <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, I got to keep one of my pips there. So that's that's pretty good. Man, that was rough. What time we got? 3. All right. One more. One more for the day.
and then we'll we'll crack the packs and take a look at where we're at on set completion. We're getting really really close. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Savannah Lions with upside at this point. Well, hello. Enduring Vitality. That, that's pack one, pick one for sure. Excellent. All right, so we've got green mana fixing down. I mean, the Smoky Lounge is the room deck. We could go Valgavoth and see if we could go the green black reanimator, do some milling of things. Uh, survival is okay. Really, of the cards here, I think the best one is the Smoky Lounge. We might take the Smoky Lounge here. Kind of see how things go. All right, well, as far as packs go, the best card here is the patched plaything. We're kind of uh, all over the board right now with our picks. Best playable card in here is the land or the 2-2. Two -two. These don't do anything really for any deck specifically that we kind of got going. This will push us more towards Vitality. This will make sure we can maybe do the room deck. All right, higher upside, I guess, on the land. This might just be one of those I picked up Enduring and then get to go do rooms. Another Storyteller. I mean, we do have the ability to give it to tap for mana, and if we can get that going, the survivors are really good. Maybe I do take the Storyteller here. Break down the door or unable to scream. I kind of like to play my mythic. So I think we're going to go back into green a little bit. Let's see if that ha Ooh. Sheltered by ghosts. Yes, please. Surgical sweet attacking creature. Yes, please. Yeah, all right. So we are officially going to be the survival deck. Hopefully this guy will wheel from that pack that we skipped him in. Yeah, we might actually be able to build a decent survival deck. Unable to Scream is really, really good removal in this environment. The only downside to it is there is also a lot of enchantment removal, so if, you know, they don't like chump block or something with it, there's always the potential for it to break out of the masks, you know, and be able to scream, so to speak. But it is really good. It is, it is definitely, like, primo removal. Especially if you can do any of the, like, white, blue, eerie stuff where you get to cast removal and then trigger all your stuff and get upside out of it like it, it can snowball very quickly 
very quickly. All right, do we want the beastie or do we want a merge? Honestly, I kind of want to grab a merge. I like the late reanimation. But yeah, blue, blue's premium removal is definitely unable to scream. Followed by don't make a sound, which is kind of funny. So it gets a little more expensive from there, and most of it's just temporary bounce stuff. But those two will will make the things tap down and not play the game at all, basically. So oh, we want the cheerleader here. It's a pretty easy pickup. Um, yeah, uh, fear of immobility is also good. I mean, friendly ghost is playable. We'll see if he makes the cut in the end. Uh, same thing with you. You don't really... You're eerie. We don't want that. Screaming nemesis, huh? I mean, really, I should be taking either Shard Mages or Coordinated Clobbering, but it's a Mythic, so I'm going to grab it. And honestly, with the Vitality, we could even splash for it, so we'll consider red splashes with the Vitality. It's unfortunate that that first Story Caller didn't make it back around for us. You know, with what we have, there's still a possibility we might pivot out of green and be in red. We'll have to see what the packs say coming back the other way around. I mean, that's another green mythic. It manifests red. It is okay. I mean, I guess we, we take it because it's a mythic. Um, grand entryway here. Yeah, I think grand entryway. Maybe if we would have gotten you pack one, uh, this storyteller or under the skin is a very not tough decision. It's under the skin. <laughs> hey, a baseball bat. We want that. We want the armor. That's a good pickup for us. All right, now we want some more one drops. And that's three mythics also. That sounds pretty decent. Um, fear is such a good card I don't know if we want to splash double red for it just taking the goat seems like the better play here for us yeah, I think I'm going to take the goat Take another goat, I think. It's not really the discard effect that I want, so I'll take the survivor. That will play it. Uh, we don't really want anything here. 
We might play the clown if we decide to splash red, depending on where our power and toughness is. Yeah, man, we've got one already. Two's okay. We don't really need the top end in this deck. We'll take a centipede. Uh, bigger might make the aggro version of this. We'll see. Planes, all right. Hey, get get in there. Man. All right. Well, we're taking the worm here. That's good. We want more stuff for delirium. So twins wouldn't be bad here. I think we've got enough over like this. You kind of want to manifest or reanimate. You don't really want to be casting it. Man, that sucks. Yeah, the best, the best card for us is the twins. Creature spells you couldn't have convoke. Untap each creature you control during each other player's untap step. <laughs> There's another storyteller. <laughs> Do we grab this and hope this wheels? This seems too good for our deck. One one just one 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 counter. No, I think can everything has convoke and get to untap all my creatures is gonna be sweet. I guess we take the split skin doll here. And there we go. Storyteller. Glimmer Seeker. Yeah, this is looking a little better. I need some removal. Um, honestly, we don't want to say its name. We might take another reanimation spell, though. And we're going to have cuts. We don't need any of that. There's, there's no reason to splash right into this. As much as I like cathartic parting, I think I'm supposed to take the dog here. This is another goat. I really don't mind the goat. It's a decent one drop, especially if you can pump it up. People play around it. Oh, nice. We got another storyteller. All right. Value three or less. <laughs> Twenty creatures, cool. We got creatures to cut. This looks a little wild, but I think we can get there. Three goats is one drops. We got a couple of decent two drops. We got some some combat trick stuff. Glimmer for sure. Patch play thing for sure. Break down the doors, great. We might not play that. We're playing that for sure. The Hotwood Shrieker. I don't know. I think it just ends up being a 3-3 three, three for 3 most of the time. We'll see. We cut one emerge probably. Grand Entry should be a 2. Probably 
prop room is a three. I think that is actually better. Just untap each creature you control during each player's is going to be huge. And you're a four drop. What do we have as far as removal? We've got sheltered by ghosts. Under, no, break down the door. And seized. We've got three removal spells, so we really need to be aggressive. Luckily, the deck will do that. We're probably not going to emerge a whole lot then. Probably, like, we might get lucky and cast that on two. How am I still doing on creatures? 18? Maybe you just cut both fears, actually. The Anthropy we probably won't need to deal with. Honestly, I won't need the theater wall. No, I want to play the theater. We, we want the theater, I think. I want to try that out. Just see what untapping my stuff every turn looks like. If we can do that. Which then makes our worst card the grand entryway, really? Yeah, I think so. We'll get rid of the grand entryway. And we didn't pick up a chandelier. Not really interested in any of that. We're not splashing. That's 40 cards. It's kind of ugly, but we'll see how it plays. If only we had a turn one play. I feel like I'm going to get punished for keeping this because we don't do anything until three. As nice as it looks, I'm going to try for a worse hand. Yeah, we'll should try for a worse hand. Alright, let's go to five. Um we're gonna keep We still don't get to do anything till three this way. Oh, that's great. Alright, well <laughs> Ah, that's terrible. At least give me another plane so I can cast them both in the one go. Not the double forest. I mean, cool. It's a goat. <laughs> Trade your goat for my dog? Or my goat for your dog? No, you don't want to. Counter spell. We trade. Uh, I think we play the seeker first. Is this another counter spell? <laughs> Wild. Nice.
<laughs> it's a baseball bat. All right. How about that? Four two first strike watchdog. You're falling. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't let that stick around, so that goes away. And now he's a 6 3 first strike. Lightning. Oh, you're not racing me. There's no way. Interesting. <laughs> Up to thirty three. Actually getting to do some stuff here. Like having all my enchantments on the one creature, but it is working. Commence the chump blocking. He didn't want to counter my go. I'm holding break down the door just in case they can finally kill my watchdog. I want to be able to uh, 
exile of the fear of falling. Although if they play a second Megalodon here, we might be in trouble. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna stun the watchdog. That hurts it for sure. It's a cheerleader. Okay. It's three to move the baseball bat, though. Oh, that's terrible. This is no good. And this is the problem with the survivor deck, because if you can't tap your creatures, you can't get your bonuses. And then you just kind of fall behind and peter out. not what we want to see. just not fair. Send it in. Leroy! Come on, haul at once. I'm not going to wait for you to think about it. Not going to wait for you to think about it. Please kill the patched plaything. I want to bring it back with the surgical suite. Yes! Alright, 
Maybe not so much. Because now my curve is off. Yeah, we might just trade off the dog real quick. No more lands. That's plenty. Plenty, I say. Well, four to three double strike. You don't kill it now, it gets one plus one every time I attack you. This is a scary teddy bear, I know. Yes, opponent, take your time, think about it. I'm going to untap it and use it to block, too. Isn't that neat? I mean, if they kill it, I have literally nothing after this, so... All right, can we get away with this? It'll be a six, five, so I can deal six damage and kill two things. We can seized, seized from slumber to hit the other and only be hit by one or the other four fours.
even if they block with everything, we come out of this on top? You're in chump lock mode, interesting. I mean, removal, yeah, that's that's it. Not a whole lot I can do about that. And now we gotta get something going that competes with the 4-4 and a 4-3, and we're about to take an extra two damage off that because they gain two life. I mean, that's a little too late. <laughs> survivor deck no we don't want to go backwards come on can we win even one Yeah, yeah. Go. Cheerleader. Peeper, huh? Unblockable this turn, do it. You won't. <laughs> Called it. Okay, well, we're gonna unlock. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I wanted to use the cheerleader there. That is stupid. I wanted the cheerleader to gain flying. Another creeper, all right. That's fine. Full control, we're gonna pay with the cheerleader and a forest. No. All right, fine. Well, let me draw a card. This is not something I can convoke out. 
That's unfortunate. Um, but we can attack here and here. Hmm. We'll save the goat. That was awkward. Alright. What else can we do? Oh, you're a red blue deck. I've had those games. We'll probably have like three. Oh! That hurts a lot. Nice. Is there anything worth getting back down there? Maybe the twins? No, I wanted that. Oh, I should have thrown it into the graveyard and then got it back with under the skin. Man, was that a misplay. <laughs> Forget, did you board my me last turn or the turn before? I would like to draw that. That's going to be a really good card for me, so... If it's a creature card, you may turn it face up. I wish it was just any permanent I could turn it face up. That'd be really cool. Sure. Hold up, seized from slumber and everything untaps. Like, can I get some of my buff guys? I don't want to tap five out to kill this one three, but man, is it pinging us down because it has vigilance.
that out of here. So we draw a card, we get a sheltered, okay. Another fear. You got two cards, I'm top decking. What are we doing? No, my go. Oh, there it is. Survivor deck, zero and three why nobody wants to play it <laughs> it's terrible even when you get mythics and rares that support it all right well what are we doing on no i don't want to look at the alchemy 98 percent. i'm missing one rare two mythics I think the mythic I'm missing is Nico, which is white blue, and then the rare I'm missing is just a blue rare. And then I'll have one of everything. That's pretty good. That is not it. <laughs> that is not it at all. I want to draft this card and play with it so bad. Have not been able to do that. But we're gonna look. No, no, go to the collection. Go to collection. Duskworn. We look because I know we already have the commons and uncommons fully collected. Oh, I guess I need the Wandering Rescuer too. So there's the two Mythics, and one rare. I might do it real quick, just to so I have an idea of what the numbers look like for the final bit. Okay, we've collected one of all of Duskmorn. Yay! I'm a little over halfway on the mythics. That's pretty cool. About the, almost done, actually. What's that? 41 more rares? That's not bad. 41 rares, 31 mythics, and it's a full set complete. Huh. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, watching me draft. It was very unfortunate that we reverted back to plat two on that last one. But uh, what are you going to do about it? It is how it is sometimes. You just get a zero three. We'll uh, catch you guys next time.